Grand Prix this year in Madison. Um, who are both in Madison. Obviously, one of the reasons uh, we chose the Charging Badgers nickname, uh, in addition to the card itself being sweet uh, and sort of <laughs> reflective of... I, th I think it's very symbolic. So the card is a green mana, one green, for a 1-1 one, one trampler. Uh, sort of the idea being... Um, that it's you know it thinks it's this big ferocious creature but it's not actually so not only uh does it sort of sort of a play on how maybe brian and i feel about our magic <laughs> abilities although i feel like we're pretty good players we're certainly <laughs> well, you, a charging badger best. would <laughs> what was that <laughs> but a charging badger would feel that way it's right, right but it's ex that's exactly right a charging badger thinks he's a lot better than he probably actually is and needs a lot of help to actually become useful but uh obviously the uh we are from Madison, Wisconsin. We both work for UW Madison, and uh, we both graduated from UW Madison. So the fact that uh, there are a few Badger cards in the Magic the Gathering um, card pool, uh, there was an obvious one that was very recent, and and so it all kind of came together. Uh, Not and, enough, though. Well, pretty well. I mean, we couldn't have really no, designed it much better. No, I mean that there needs there needs to be more Badgers. Well, I would advocate to be more Badgers, and I would you know feel free to tweet to the wizards of the coast that there need to be more badgers i try i try on say a weekly basis or so to, to tweet something to them about badgers today i tweeted uh especially when they have i asked them if there were any badgers to be spoiled in modern masters 2015 um and if so we'd be happy to uh, spoil them and preview them, preview them for them uh i doubt there are did any they respond badgers are, no they didn't okay. nor did they favor it either so shame on you wizards That's especially a great with great post um but to get back to where I was going, so there's a Grand Prix in Madison this year, and uh, Brian and I are both going to attend it. It's both our first, our first Grand Prix, our both of our first Grand. How wait a minute, what am I trying to say? For both of us, for both it of will us, be our first. Grand I'm an English Prix. major. It's nine, ten at night, so I'm not doing too well here. Um, I know it's not wasn't coming out right, but wasn't coming up with the proper way to say it. Yes. So for both of us, it will be our first Grand Prix. We are putting together a little uh, team. Uh, of people we know that are uh, average to be above average to good magic players. So I'm not trying to say we, you know, some of the people we play with are casual players. And that's what he's great. saying is we're going to all meet in the top eight. That's not what I'm saying. Um, so it's really cool that it kind of worked out that Brian and I started doing this stream. I had no idea about Grand Prix Madison until I, I, I was like, you know, I wonder if there's any Grand Prix this year. I looked and oh, sure enough, right in my, right in our town, there's a Grand Prix. Um, these are the bat. Brian's going through all the different badgers. Yeah. By the way, there are not many of them. This is the best by art by a, by a long shot. It is pretty cool. Yeah, he's banging on a skull there. But unfortunately, Rosorian badger doesn't make much sense in the in the world where us charging badgers does. Uh, so we're putting together a little team. Uh, I think we we're up to like between eight and ten people now. We have uh, people ranging, like I said, from kind of average to. I would say Brian and I are very good. We have our friend Frank, who uh, is not on chat tonight, but he's. He plays in most of the Mox events on Magic Online, uh, and he actually top aided the last one. So we have some good players, and uh, we're kind of it's it's two days before my birthday. My wife and child are both uh, going to be in Florida visiting my father in law and mother in law at the time. So it's like my Magic weekend. Uh, so it's it's actually really cool that it all kind of worked out that way this year, um, and we're kind of hoping you know, I think. Uh, I tried to let everyone know uh, who is interested in playing that you know expectations should be that if we get together a team of eight, if if three or four of us can make day two, that would be awesome. If someone could make like top one hundred, that would be kind of amazing, uh, and that's kind of what we should be shooting for. But we're gonna get together um, the the set battle for Zendikar. It's gonna be a limited format, so it's gonna be sealed deck mostly until the top eight draft. Um, we're gonna get a bunch of boxes the weekend before. Do a lot of sealed deck, a lot of play testing. Oh, they just went one one. And uh, see if we can get somebody to do well. Uh, just one of us doing well, I think, would make my weekend. I'd be super happy. Uh, I'd love it to be me, but I'm not. You know, the the game is uh, has so much variance that it's just really hard to to. <laughs> and any all the you know, I'm sure like uh, the best players in the world. You know, I think Luis Scott Vargas, who's considered you know one of the top ten players, was zero and five at the last Pro Tour and never got a win just dropped at that point because it was pointless so you just never know 
But I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I've never done a competitive Magic event outside of a pre-release, which is very casual. So one of the things we're going to do is try to do some uh, pre-releases, some face-to-face, -face, a lot more. Uh, even just playing cube drafts and getting familiar with turn order and how you're supposed to do things in person versus online. Online, everything's spelled out for you. When a spell goes on the stack, you get your chance to respond, and you have to click OK to pass priority. Whereas if you're playing paper, there's a lot of shortcuts. You say, counterspell. And if the other person says, okay, whether they meant to or not, or they were saying out, out loud or saying, okay, as in they, they got to talk to themselves, that's, you know, a, a signal for, um, uh, that they're, that they're done, uh, and that the counter spell resolves. So it's, it's really getting used to playing in person again, playing at a, playing very tight, making sure you're not doing, making mistakes. Uh, so I'm pretty, really looking forward to, to playing in it. Uh, the, the pro tour is in Milwaukee the week after. I think I'm just going to go check down maybe the finals watch the finals and just hang out It'd be a fun thing to do for a day but uh brian do you have any comments i guess the only the only thing i'm sad about is that it's in october and the set doesn't really get spoiled until september so i'm just going to be kind of spinning my wheels until october um trying to just play oh ooh, sweet trying to play online on mondays with brian to just keep mm -hmm. staying in some sort of uh, competitive mode and uh, trying to get in uh some more live events whether it be just getting some friends over to my house to do a cube draft with my cube or uh whether it's uh going to there's a modern masters pre-release in two weeks which i'm not sure i'm gonna be able to go to but magic origins is this summer that's the new summer set i'm gonna maybe try to do that uh, maybe even go down to like a friday night magic or two and just do some drafts in person uh, madison has a very competitive limited scene uh sam black adrian sullivan um our two pro players, Adrian Sullivan, just top aided the last pro tour. Uh, Sam Black won the mocks that my friend Frank was in. Um, so, like, he top aided a 300 person event with a lot of pros. So, there's a lot of good yeah. magic in Madison to, to get out there and play. So, I, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Wow. What? That's why he's the color man, ladies and gentlemen. No, I, just... I lead him in, give him all the details, and all he has to say is. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, uh, you, you gave all the details. I don't want to... Well, I know, but you could have given your perspective. Like, oh, yeah, I'm really excited. My cousin's going to be playing. I haven't played with him in a while. I'm excited to get to... Nothing. I'm really looking forward to it. I... Premium commentary from Charging yeah. Badgers, folks. Good thing you're not paying for this. I'm saving all my commentary <laughs> skill for the match. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I also just found that the remote for our projector has a laser pointer on it, so... I'm going to be abusing...